Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com and in this video I want to show you how to add your Facebook pixel to your unbalanced landing page and or pages. Now I do assume that you already created your pixel in Facebook, it's ready to go and we're ready to plug it in. If not, make sure to check out my detailed video on how to set up the Facebook pixel. I also use Unbounce as the example, but I set up the pixel there from start to finish with the new interface that they did. That being said, let's get into it. There are two ways of adding your Facebook pixel. One is via the basic script that will add the pixel to every single page of a specific domain. And the other way is manually by taking the code and adding it to each page manually you will very likely have to use both of these, okay? So let's start off with the script method. We're gonna click on settings, click on script manager. Now I already have some examples here that we've set up. If you are using Google Tag Manager, make sure to check that video out to know how to set up Google Tag Manager with Unbounce. For us, if you wanna use just the Facebook pixel, we're gonna click on add script. We're gonna select custom script here and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the Facebook pixel to every single page of our funnel, okay, of a specific domain. And it just makes it easier and more convenient. And then we can set up specific events and specific audiences for each individual page later on. But let's name it here, let's say Facebook ads pixel, and let's use Ted's Woodwork dot uh, Ted's would work dot live. This is our domain that we will be using and let's click add script details. Uh, before we save, we have to add a few things here. So let's head back over into Facebook. Like I said, I assume you already created the events, you already created a pixel. Uh, we have the YouTube pixel here that we set up. So if you want to go to a page that looks like this, check out my video. Uh, we're going to click on add new website and we're going to click on install code manually because we want to take this big code. That's the base code that we want added on every single page of our website okay, or our funnel. We're going to copy the code and it says here to put it in the head section. Okay, So we're going to head back into Unbounce. We're going to paste it here. Make sure we select head over here. And where do we want to add this pixel? To every single page, not just the main landing page and not the thank you page and so on. So we're going to click all. Okay, we want this pixel to be everywhere so we can create audiences later on. And if you want to learn how to set up Google Tag Manager and set up your pixel tracking and, and create your audiences and run ads to them, check out my courses on Google Ads and Facebook Ads uh, Remarketing. That being said, we've done that here. Let's select our domain. So in this case, I said our domain would be tedswoodwork.live. So we're gonna select the domain, make sure everything here looks good before you hit save, because it's gonna take a minute or two for it to actually load, okay? So this is the base code that we just added to all of our pages on this domain, tedswoodwork.live, okay? I'm gonna pause the video for a minute here until this loads and I will be right back. Okay, so the code has successfully been added to every single page with this domain. Okay, so it makes it much easier. You can edit the domain by clicking edit script and you can select your exact domain that you want. You can also click here and you can pause the script. Disable script means pause it or you can delete the script entirely. Okay, and then you can change the name here and to access this option here again, this menu, click on script manager and then find the Facebook ads pixel and click on it here. Okay. And now you can change your Facebook pixel from within here. You can make any changes you want, okay? So let's go back to pages and let's check to make sure that this base code is added on every single uh, page of our uh, funnel, right? Or in this case, let's just test this one page, tedswoodwork.live. Because if you recall, that's the domain we used. Now you need to have a custom uh, domain in Unbounce to make this work. So if you haven't set that up, make sure to check out my video on how to set up a custom domain with Unbounce. But we're gonna go here, we will open this page. I will be using my Facebook pixel extension here to make sure that, uh, that our pixel is added. And let's go back here, let's see what, uh, let's quickly take a look and see what the code is. So I'm gonna paste the code here. And the uh, our pixel ID is N ends in 0551. So if we go back to our page and use this Facebook pixel helper, we see 0551. So we know that our Facebook pixel is set up correctly on this page. Uh, if you don't have this extension, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. Type that into Google, Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension, and you will get this as well. So you can just double check to make sure your pixel is here. I have other pixels here from my course where I show you how to set up remarketing and retargeting. So don't worry about this. You will just see the one right here, <clears throat> okay? Now that's perfect. Uh, we've added the code here. 
Let's click continue. Uh, you can leave on automatic matching that basically allows Facebook to gather more information about your customers. There is no, there, there are no privacy concerns. Um, but for example, if someone enters their email <clears throat> into your email submit and Facebook has that email on file, they're going to try to provide more information about an aggregate group of people, not about that specific one, but they will be able to provide you more information about um, a certain group of people that signed up to your list. Okay. Later on, we'll click continue. Okay, so now we have to install the event code. So we have to install um, that specific, for example, sign up pixel, okay? Now, Facebook doesn't make this process super easy, so we're gonna install the code manually. So we'll click on install events code, and we're gonna come across this page. Now, let's suppose we want to add a sign up event, right? Saying that someone has, sorry, let me just move stuff out here saying that someone has signed up to our page, to our thank you page, right? So when someone signs up to our list, they land on our thank you page, we're gonna see this thank you pixel fire, okay? So we're gonna do that. And the way we do that is let's head back into Unbounce. So this is our, you know, this is our page here we have with a thank you confirmation box. So we're gonna click edit. We're gonna head back over here to this page and now what we have to do is we have to <clears throat> select this form confirmation dialog and we're going to add this Facebook event code to this dialog only, right? Not the landing page because we want to indicate when someone has signed up. So we're going to click on JavaScript here. We'll click on add new JavaScript. We're going to remove that. Let's say this is the Facebook ads uh, sign up event. Uh, as you can see, we set up Google ads in the previous video. We're going to select uh, head section here and let's go back here into Facebook. Actually, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to link these two URLs in the description. You do need both of them. Um, or if you just watch the video and memorize things, you can do that. So what we're going to do is scroll down a little bit and we're going to copy this whole thing here. I don't know why Facebook makes it so complicated if you're just setting up tracking for the first time. Uh, we're going to paste it here. Okay, now this is gonna track a purchase. So when someone lands on this thank you confirmation box, it's gonna register as a purchase in Facebook. We don't want that, right? So we're gonna go to this URL here instead. I'm gonna link it below. It's called specifications for Facebook pixel events. And let's find something that does match what we're looking for. For example, a lead, right? So if someone signs up, they become a lead. Or I don't know, what, what else could match? Maybe start trial or maybe subscribe, okay? So that's up to you to decide. There's no right answer depending on what your funnel looks like. In our case, I'm gonna go with lead. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. I'm gonna copy that and replace this here. I'm gonna just flat out delete it and I'm gonna paste that which I just copied, the lead, okay? And I'm gonna hit done and that's it. So now we have this Facebook event on this form dialog. So when someone lands on our landing page and they sign up, the Facebook pixel is going to track them, but then we're also going to have an event fire when they actually sign up. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you want to install the code manually, if you didn't like my approach of taking the code and adding it on every single page of a domain, if you want to do the manual setup, what you're going to do is just go to JavaScript, add new JavaScript and take that basic Facebook code that we got. Sorry, it's over here. So you're going to go here, going to click form new website, install code manually. You're gonna take this code here, you're gonna copy it, and you will add it manually on every single page in the head section. So go here, click paste, and click head, okay? And you're just gonna add this on every single page. And that's the manual way of doing it. And you click done, and yeah, that's it. You add this to every page, even if you wanna track events, you still add it to all of those pages. But that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Unbounce playlist where I show you a bunch of cool, neat, uh, tips and tricks and different coding ways uh, you can enhance your website. Um, you don't need any knowledge. I cover it all with you from scratch. Super easy. And also check out my courses where I teach you how to do remarketing with Google ads and Facebook ads from start to finish. We go through the entire process. You need absolutely zero knowledge to be able to follow along with me as we go through it step by step. But that is all. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.